Okay. So say suppose we have to we have a normal distribution whose mean is 28 and standard deviation is 3 and we have to find the area under this normal curve from x equals 30 to x equals 35 and here I wrote the density function of uh, this normal distribution just to be able to get the graph okay and what we need is we need this area and that is the area under the normal curve from x equals 30 to x equals 35 now here just a little commercial for calculus that is the way it's computed is this that you integrate from 30 to 35 the density function and the answer is this okay now uh, I just I was taking this calculus example just to do something for you in context because when you are using TI-83 for this okay what you will do is first turn it on now we are talking about distribution and that's yellow right here this is yellow I can see yellow so I just clicked on that and we are talking about normal curve areas and it talks in terms of the cumulative areas so we are going to go to the cumulative density function and just click on that and notice this you are going from 30 to 35 okay so I want from 30 to 35 now it doesn't want us to enter this whole thing because if we told it that 28 is the mean and 3 is the standard deviation it will understand and we have the same answer don't we right okay so in this way uh, I mean just keeping this in mind you don't necessarily have to okay tells you the order in which you put these numbers in okay now let's look at another demonstration that is we have the same normal distribution this time we would like to get the area under the curve from 32 and right hand side of, of to the right of 32 that is we need this area okay now if we go in calculus style all you got to do is put 32 here and on the right we can go as far as we would like okay so here is the answer which will be uh, like approximately point zero zero point zero nine one two okay in TI 83 if we would like to do the same problem what I have to do is this well go to second distribution uh, some some reason it didn't show up here okay go to normal CDF we are starting at 32 and I don't have any key for infinity here and I didn't expect any okay this here is simply a symbolic thing so let's give the calculator the largest number that it can handle for that purpose okay so let's go 10 to the 99 which is like tenth of a Google and rest are we just tell the mean and the standard deviation the two key parameters okay and it should give us the answer and you can see we still have the same answer here right now in this example we have the same normal distribution and we want the area under uh, actually this normal curve uh, not the this normal curve from or on the left of x equals 29 uh, if we did this say if we were looking at the same procedure that we did a short while ago okay then uh, what we will do now excuse me here I will put 29 and here I'm going to put negative infinity and that's the area to the left approximately 0 0.606 6306 and for TI 89 what we would do is that see we have to put we have to put negative infinity to the left so we will just put negative tenth of the Google again or negative 10 to the 99 you know fairly large number on the top we have 29 and then the two parameters of this normal distribution and we have the same answer okay 
Now let's go towards our reverse normal calculation. That is, this time instead of knowing a value of x and uh, obtaining the areas, what we are uh, going to do is this, that we are we will be given the area and we have to find the corresponding value of x. For example, here I have to find the 92nd percentile of this, distri this normal distribution with mean 28 and standard deviation 3. Okay, that is uh, we want the value of x such that area to the left of this value of x is how much? 0.92 or this is 92nd percentile in other terms. Okay, so how would we do this? So notice this that I have just the opposite problem. See, I know to the left means what? I'm going to go to negative, sorry, I'm starting from negative infinity. I don't know where I have to stop so that this area is 0.92. So what am I doing? I'm saying, well, this is my unknown and the area is 0 0.93. Uh, if we have to use uh, this notebook, see, it tells us that the value is x equals 32.22. But let's see how would the uh, calculator do that. Let's wake it up. Okay, so here. Now remember, we are going to do reverse in terms of many statistics books, but actually we are doing the inverse calculation. So we go there, choose it, and what I have to do here is this. Here I have to go slightly differently. I'm just going to give it the thing that I know, that I know I want the 92nd percentile, right? Then I have to give the calculator the parameters of the normal distribution and it gives us the same value, okay?